let me invite Mr. Vinay Kumar Vinit for his presentation on digital journey of UP towards one trillion economy. Over to you, sir. Well, while he fiddles up with his system, first of all, thank you so much for being patient with the, us. And Sanjayji, it was really a very thrilling presentation from your part that West Bengal is really leaping at a very, very, very high space. And perhaps APSC has chosen the right state to put up their cyber security, cyber space digital, con digital conference on it. Well, a few years back, because Government of India gives us an opportunity to go on higher studies, so I went to higher studies to King's College. Just because I had an engineering background, so when I courses ko modules, I saw a cyber security tha, aur ek bada famous name tha, Thomas Reed. Ka. So I thought, let us take cyber security also. Thank you. Ye change se hai na? Isi se. Ah, fine, no issues. No issues, no issues. So, yeah. I hope I'm audible now, better audible. So I took that course. Little did I knew that after a couple of years, I will be heading the IT department of Uttar Pradesh as special secretary and heading one of the premium companies over there. And uh, that kindled me the interest in cybersecurity because attribution was the main perspective that I actually got into. And uh, that journey, that rekindlement of uh, the knowledge that I could get from that place is something that is I am able to contribute again into my state government. Uh, what Mahade, my previous uh, previous to previous uh, uh, presentation was on uh, from Mumbai, the guy from Mumbai, Mr. Mahadeva, I believe, is here. Yeah, thank you. Networking lunch, may we will talk because for the last few months, not just me, my team, and so many people are getting WhatsApp calls. WhatsApp calls from Iran, from Vietnam, from Pakistan, from what God knows why. And how can a WhatsApp call be a cyber threat that I would really like to understand from you because your deep knowledge into it was really very understandable. Uh, lastly, before I start my presentation, because it is not definitely on cyber security, it is on my journey towards a one trillion economy. Just like West Bengal has already got into their own state cert, Uttar Pradesh is very soon coming up with their own cyber security policy and we are coming up with a provision of a state cert where we are going to have a certain like uh, system in state also with at least 40, 50 very good uh, technical expertise. So any of, one of you would like to get into an opportunity into it, you may spread the message also. In a couple of months, we are definitely going to come up with, uh, in collaboration with the, of course, with the private sector because government cannot always lead. Government is just a facilitator. It's ultimately the uh, the public that has to take lead upon. The cyber space is just like drive safely. One word, drive safely. It may be wearing a helmet, having a good vehicle, to having a good engine and whatnot. Similarly, cyber security has a huge, huge parlance it's a race that is going on from ethical hacking to phishing to whatnot to trying to get your space and your uh, security enabled as much as we can. But, this, but the, the dribble continues. Just uh, two, three days before, we had a very huge cyber attack on uh, Uttar Pradesh on one of our uh, transport department uh, website. Not actually the transport department website, the solution provider that had it in, on its own DC. There was a major attack and the entire data was seized. We had DR, so we are trying to cope up with that, but still, it existed. Just similar to what happened with the AIMS a few months back. So, in this parlance, I would like to welcome you all to what Uttar Pradesh has been doing to achieve a goal of a one trillion economy and how IT and ITS sector is aiming at it. So, I would like to put up some innovative projects that we have coming up with. One is Mind Mitra or uh, Shishti Portal, one map series. Digi Shakti is something that I am doing, so I will definitely like to elaborate on that. And some other uh, important projects that are also going on. So about Mind Mitra, it is just a project that any of the mining activity all over Uttar Pradesh, if it just passes through one of my gates, it, ha it has AI, it has ML, it has IoT, all enabled systems, which helps to us to identify the particular vehicle, the particular mining ore, 
the Ramana attached to it, the vehicle attached to it, and entire data comes through online. Now this uh, system has worked very beautifully, more than 100 crores of uh, the return has already been gained with an investment of hardly say 2 or 3 crores. Now the point is that any cyberpunk can get into it very easily, I don't know. But still, this is something that is we are really very proud of. It got a President's Award this time. Similar like this, so many gates everywhere. Just to track, we don't need to stop any vehicle. We don't need to stop any vehicle. We get all the information right from the ore, right from the truck, right from the volume, right from the Ramanna issued about the vehicle, ownership, address, previous chalans, etc. Everything. Similarly, there is a portal called Shrishti. So this is about uh, a single window GIS portal for PWD, uh, similar to Chanak. This is very effective. Don't go with the PM, uh, uh, the project where we are coming up with all the layerings of different uh, stack piling of information. In this, we have information about each and every plot that comes into it. So we are trying to develop this because Ultimately, economy is to run. We have 1 trillion, the, the uh, government of India says 5 trillion, UP says we are trying to reach 1 trillion. Tak so these are the tools, these are the ways through which we are trying to facilitate so that more and more investment comes in. Similarly, there we have a one map uh, series in Greater Noida which is being used uh, basically to promote industry. Kisi bhi industry ke kisi bhi plot pe agar hum ja ke click karenge, we get entire detail about that particular plot. It is easier said, but it will be much more uh, interesting when I get into the website and we can have detail of each and every plot, ki kis samay kya ho raha hai, what is the cost size and what is going to happen about this and what is the planning actually to be happened. So this facilitates the growth engine of economy. This is what I'm trying to explain that how IT is trying to enable the growth engine of economy in a big way. Uh, similarly, this is a very important scheme and I uh, Sanjay Ji ki wo jo cyber education wali jo book thi, usko main zaroo help lunga. This is Digi Shakti. Digi Shakti is a portal through which we have connected more than 18,000 colleges, more than 32 universities, more than 62 lakh students as of now. We are distributing tablet, smartphone as well as content. Content regarding their education, regarding their employability, both of them. Through this entire portal, we have built up seamless, absolutely paperless. All 16, 18,000 colleges interact with UPDESCO, all 12 departments interact with UPDESCO through this portal. No paper, nothing to be done. The entire distribution, each and every device identified, marked and mapped with a particular student. So that is the beauty of this portal. But the second part is that we can push contents into it. Uh, idea aya ki we can collaborate with West Bengal for the cyber security ke contents and we will definitely push it up with them. Or aapne to ek bahut important point bhi kaya ki it is free. So <laughs> government sector mein free is very important because we have already collaborated with Infosys. Unke uh, jo springboard hai, that content is already going on through us. Uh, more than two lakh students have already benefited through it. But this is definitely going to be something that we will like to collaborate. So similarly, Nivesh Mitra is one of the very uh, strongly being advocated in Uttar Pradesh, facilitate. My concept here because you are come here for cyber security, that is one thing, but you are also there for business. You might be having uh, business in Mumbai, Bengaluru, uh, of late Bhuvaneshwar is coming up in a very big way or Pune is already there. Lekin ye sabhi centers ke saath saath hum ek particular sector ko UP mein bhi kan, uh, uh, concentrate kar rahe. through our data center policy we have already got more than 500 megawatts of data centers in UP established start started functioning one data center has already rolled out 40 megawatt another six are coming up we aim at more than 850 megawatts but why do we aim at it is not just business because we are coming up with our AVGC policy and we want UP and Lucknow to be the gaming hub of India this is what we are trying to develop. Now, if we have industry, if we culture, ko agar develop karna hoga, to we need industries to come up. For industries to come up, these are small, these are very big hassles. For this fellow to get into a forensic trail is much easier than to get a land and develop his own uh, industry. So I am trying to help him the other way around that you come to Uttar Pradesh, 
I will facilitate you to get your industry established. And the IT infrastructure part, you come up and establish because you are the expert into it. I am not. But I know how to facilitate you. So that once you come over, the entire industry grows. This is how we are trying to aim at. And we are trying to develop Lucknow as the gaming hub of India in a couple of years down the line. This is our future aim. Dikhte uh, kaha tak safal hote hain. Just to give an idea, the reach and penetration of uh, IT infrastructure in UP, each and every gram panchayat, each and every village, we have a common service center, at least two of them. We have more than 300 of our services through common service centers. And uh, in this year, we are going to, uh, we are targeting that 25% of the services be self-help. Hum khud declare kare, apne certificates ko lele, generate kare aur use kare. For example, caste certificate. Hummese shayad yahan par kisi zorat nahi padti hai, lekin government services mein caste certificate is a very big bottleneck. To ab hum ye koshish kar rahe hain ki the student comes into class 9th, usko hum ek bar caste certificate, usko usko puri family ko ek bar issue kar de. And every time that particular caste certificate is required, they may just get it done, downloaded. So that ease of business through this IT infrastructure is what we are trying to aim at. I'm just trying to hit upon the solutions that these uh, services can give and how ease the life of a citizen can be. That is what we are trying to aim at. Similarly, we are trying to aim at the family ID because ultimately free of something or free of something is very important, but we need to have a data analytics. Actually, we are a family unit. Ko de kya rahe so we are trying to develop one ID Master ID, of course, UIDI ka jo norms hai, to hum aadhar ko base maan ke ek family ID create karenge. And we will map each and every facility that is being given to a particular family so that we can just try to grow that family and the planning part can be taken well care of. So this is just about the family ID part. Now I come to the, uh, very quickly to the uh, policies because ultimately that is what uh, uh, is important for us. So we have four policies. Manufacturing, startup, IT, ITS, and data center policy. I will rush into the other policies and stay on the data center policy. We had our global investment summit very soon, and we got more than 25 lakhs of uh, investment, more than 5 lakhs of investment, 5 lakh crores of investment. MOUs were signed in IT, IT sector, 20%. So even if we get a UP is a 8 lakh crore economy, so even if we get 20% of the MOUs that we signed, our economy is going to double. So let us see, let us hope, and we, I, I request all of you to pray and wish. Uh, in each and every policy, there are incentives, the best of the industry, the best of the state. We have studied all the states, all the states, when I say all the states, all 28 states. We have studied them, we have incorporated the best, and we try to get up, uh, above, over and above what they are already uh, giving. Similarly, in IT sector, although it's, as of now, if you talk about UP, we'll just talk about Noida or Greater Noida or say small parlance Lucknow. We want to get this tier two and tier three cities so that our economy grows. Now I welcome to the startup policy with more than 10,000 startups there, but still it needs to grow. I would I have no parlance, no issues in admitting that. This is a level that we are still slightly behind, but we would like to, this to come up in a beautiful way. Facilities are there, even for women entrepreneurs, we have got different facilities over and above the facilities that are there. We are trying to develop a fund of fund through SIDB and we are trying to just get it done. But I would just like to carry on the message that yes, Uttar Pradesh wants their startups to come up in a very big way and we are ready to support. Center of Excellences we have in each and every field and uh, we are trying to get into the IT sector as much as we can. Uh, let me come up with the data center policy because that is what I would uh, uh, correlates a lot of it. So these are the six players that are already there. Another four players are coming up. This data center facility as DC because now DC and DR up to norms be change ho gaye. Pehle do alag six mix zone mein hone chahiye the. To hundred kilometers ke baad bhi there can be DC and DR. So this is a huge potential one for the data. Uh, storage capacity part. Secondly, when we come with our gaming policy, because when nanosecond makes a, makes an impact on the gaming, entire gaming technology. So this is going to be the backbone of what we are trying to aim at. 
and this is the infrastructure that we are trying to build upon upon which we will be having our avgc and uh, gaming policy to bank upon to rest upon and to grow upon this is a huge sector we have already have identified more than 40 acres of land in lucknow where we are going to concentrate and make because it sector is not just a sector where you just get a room or just garage mein to facebook or uh, google bhi start ho gaya tha steve jobs ne bhi garage garage mein shuru kiya tha everyone all the four five big wigs they all started in a garage but what is a garage garage is where you get electricity where you get good conducive work working environment so today's working environment means jahan aap kaam kar rahe hain wahan acha fooding wahan acha restaurant wahan acha night life wahan achi scope of work as well as connectivity so this is this is the basic premise on which we are thinking i'm just trying to put out my brain when i say my brain i am trying to put out the brains of government of uttar pradesh ki what government of uttar pradesh is thinking about when they bring about their policy to hamari soch ye hai ki hum aapko us pure parallels mein facilitate kare wo pura infrastructure lakhnau mein create karke hum lakhnau ko ek because noida is already growing up and the infrastructure of uh, say things are already there when we start growing up in lucknow this tier 2 tier 3 uh, cities they grow up exponentially the huge potential of gaming is there in the entire state of uttar pradesh uh, we already have more than 21 intents received 1 lakh crore ke aas pass ka 85000 course ka interest already aa chuka hai <coughs> so that was all about uh, how up is trying to gallop around to strive to be a 1 trillion economy by 2030 this is what we are trying to aim in the it sector i have pushed out my mind that uttar pradesh wants to be a gaming hub of india now coming back to what we are discussing today is cyber space or cyber security so entire you take in you name a department and the basic infrastructure is now being provided by it the solutions is being provided by it the growth engine is it infrastructure so we are there we means we all of us we are there in each and every sector of government parlance health ka bhi aane wala hai jo ki ek major issue hai ki humne chahe private mein dikhaya chahe sarkari doctor ko dikhaya hamara pura ka pura health background ek jagah simulate ho raha hai it needs it needs a huge it infrastructure world ka 1984 ka total electricity consumption is what we are spending upon just to keep the data infrastructure alive today so that is the growth that is the exponential growth on which world has traveled in and that is what we are trying to aim at in uttar pradesh to be there i would like to interact many of you in the networking lunch time and that would really be a very nice session to be in thank you so much for being patient jai hind so i am basically a journalist but i must say as a if i just nurture my journalistic acumen uh, uh, taking cue from taking cue from what vinit uh, sir has said i can see a big headline that uttar pradesh government is ready to collaborate with government of west bengal for cyber security initiative that's on a lighter note but thank you so much uh, mr kumar vinit for shedding some light on that i know both uh, uh, mr sanjay kumar that has to leave for urgent meeting and i know next panel is ready so before i call on mr rupak boru i request mr sanjay kumar das to hand over a moment to mr kumar vinit can we have that moment on stage please and i have reminded that i forgot to give this to our program mentor to sanjay kumar das only 